Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is the video about the question I get a lot from a lot of different people that how do I get into a product based company, right? Uh, before and before starting, I just need to tell you that me for a very long time of my career for a very good part of my career, I worked in service companies, right? So out of like 13, 12, 13 years, uh, I have worked like almost four, four and a half, five years in in service based companies in a few service based companies and working in a service based company has its own perks so like you get exposed to a lot of different technologies because you can switch pro projects easily you can move to different teams easily so you get exposed to a lot of different techs uh, tech in i mean very early in your career and anybody who's starting their journey in IT, in software, I would recommend that you start working with a service company uh, initially. But yeah, I mean, working in product based company has its own perk. Uh, the first thing is the compensation. So compensation is a lot higher what I have seen compared to service based companies. Plus, you actually get to understand and know how an enterprise application or an enterprise software works when you're working with a product, right? So those are the perks of basically working with a product company so I have listed down my seven uh, must-have skills that you need to have uh, before you go into an interview for a product based company right there could be bunch of other skills that are that are required right but I have just picked these seven skills which are must-have so let's get started number one is cloud platform so most of the software companies or software as a service companies they are running out of some or the other cloud right aws azure gcp so you need to have a good understanding of these uh, cloud platforms right uh, you pick one pick azure aws gcp and you get a good hold on that particular platform and then probably you you have an edge uh, over other candidates when you go into an interview right if you if you're comfortable with uh, cloud platforms next is programming so even if you're applying for a site reliability or a devops engineer job most of the companies today uh, they are looking for a program a person with a programming background uh, it is not a very high level uh, programming that they require but uh, you should be able to write decent uh, scripts right decent automation in in any high level programming language so yeah programming is is another must have skill uh, in today's time probably if you go five seven years back it was not uh, very much required because most of the work which site reliability or devops engineer do used to do was uh, operations like right? basic operations or daily operations but now the role itself has evolved so much that programming is another must have skill that is required moving on next is iac so infrastructure as code so you should know some tool uh, to in today's time terraform is like the industry leader uh, to build infrastructure so most of the companies which are you which are running out of cloud some some uh, other cloud platform they build their infrastructure using the this uh, infrastructure as code because they want to codify their infrastructure so they are either using terraform or they are using if if, if it's aws they are using cloud formation uh, few tools which have come recently into picture uh, tools like Pulomi is there which they uh, they use to build infrastructure AWS CDK is there right so a bunch of tools have come into but if if you know Terraform uh, probably that's that's enough uh, if, if you want to get into some some product company next is container technology so another uh, because because of the cloud container technologies have evolved very rapidly in last five seven years uh, docker as a platform kubernetes as a platform have come into picture most of the companies they are moving their workloads into containers right instead of running them on uh, virtual machines ec2 instances azure instances they are moving into containers running them out of kubernetes clusters right because it, I mean, it brings a lot of the benefits of cloud. Just a sec. Excuse me. Yeah. So it brings a lot of benefits. Uh, cost saving is one. Uh, easy maintenance, easy deployment, a bunch of other benefits that with that comes with uh, when you build your application and deploy it on container technologies. So you need to learn Docker, maybe Rancher, Kubernetes. You need to understand Kubernetes very well. 
because that is a very very great skill to learn in today's time so yeah those, those that that is another skill that you need to learn next is monitoring and logging so i felt when i was working with the service companies this was one thing which was not part of my job in most of the companies uh, so monitoring and logging mostly the client used to keep it to themselves they had their own teams where, which were responsible for monitoring and logging so when you get into a product based company as a site reliability engineer uh, you actually take care of this stuff yourself so because you need to know i mean how your application is performing uh, your you need to define your uh, slas so monitoring and logging is very important logging for troubleshooting if there is something wrong with your application so this is very important skill a uh, few technologies which i have learned over the past years uh, is like elk is one so elastic search log stash kibana uh, splunk then you have a uh, tick stack like telegraph influx uh, grafana for dashboarding right so all these technologies they are very handy and you must know uh, how basically these things work next is security so on a security is another uh, thing which in when you are in a service based company client used to keep it to themselves they want to secure their application they actually have dedicated security engineers that keep uh, that keep their application secure so you don't get much exposed when you're working with a service company to security but when you are in a product based company you understand the complete life cycle of application security so that is another benefit and that is one skill that you also also should learn when you are planning to get into uh, or maybe transitioning into from service to product company security is one thing that that is very important when you're working with a product company and the final skill that you need is agile so this actually i mean we were exposed to agile when i was working even with the service company but the agile or what you call uh, yeah agile at that point of time was only limited to uh, the devs right so the only the development team used to follow the agile methodologies uh, the uh, the operations team was not exposed to it we were not working on like kanban boards or stories at that point of time but ever since i've joined a product companies uh, there is there are sprints for uh, operations teams as well like they run their own uh, sprints they have their stories uh, for a particular release and they basically have tasks which they broke down break down into different stories so basically a, a, a agile methodology is implemented in product companies even for the operations team because the operations itself in 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 like itself is a very complex uh, complex uh, things to think to manage right uh, just like dev i mean earlier it was just the development which was uh, managed using agile uh, methodology but now most of the companies they are running agile for the operations team because the operations teams are running such big projects for the companies that they need to uh, track these using agile so agile is one thing if if you get an opportunity in service companies just i mean take that and learn agile before you move to a product company so yeah that's all i had for this video these are the seven skills that i would actually prefer you guys to learn if you are preparing for say some interview maybe agile and stuff is not asked in interviews but cloud platform programming infrastructure as code uh, questions about uh, container technologies they would like feature very heavily and the thing with uh, an interview when you are giving with a cloud uh, sorry a product company is that they try to ask you questions based on their use cases what what challenges they are facing currently right so learning if you are very comfortable with the top 4 right then probably you would have a good chance to get into a product company so yeah that's all i have for this video i hope you guys like this video if you have any questions please put down in the comments and i'll be happy to help right so yeah thank you for watching and please do subscribe to the channel before leaving thank you